Hello and welcome to the first in a series of tutorials designed to give you an introduction to the AI media server. AI is based around a powerful 3D visualizer. This allows you to design, pre-program and operate any show imaginable. These features combined with a node-based programmability make AI the most flexible media server on the market. Now I'll give you a brief overview of the graphical user interface. In the corners of the main window, there are eight tabs, which access different parts of the user interface. The first of these is the project browser. Here are all the projects currently stored on this server. The operator is able to browse and launch any of these saved projects. In version seven, we have template projects available at the top of the screen, as well as your previously loaded projects shown at the bottom. The next page we will look at is the stage construction page. This is where we build the virtual 3D stage. You can insert any relevant fixture from the menu along the top of the screen. This creates a fixture group shown at the bottom of the screen. This fixture group then becomes available throughout the rest of the system, allowing the user to trigger or sequence media to play back on the device. We have support currently for projectors, screens, LED lighting and moving lights. Now we will take a look at the performance page. This is the page from where the show is controlled. You can select single or multiple fixture groups and trigger media. Along the right hand side here we have the media banks, which can be named and customised to contain the media you need. At the bottom of the screen, we have the roller queue, which allows you to add and trigger and organize your media. Media can be added to the roller queue by browsing to where your media is stored within Windows or using the internal browser system within AI. It is then a simple case of drag and drop to add multiple video clips, for example. On this page, you can also preview media without affecting the outputs, which means you can look through your media during the show without worrying about accidentally triggering the wrong clip. On the left hand side, we have the layers for each fixture. By default, there are four layers available, but these can be increased depending on your hardware. Here we can control media speed, play modes, blend modes, intensity, colours and effects. The canvas editor page allows the user to manipulate the texture and determine how it is applied to the 3D model. When dealing with complex models, it's often important to have precise control over how your image is applied to the model. This allows content creators to make very accurate content which takes advantage of the specific design of a particular setup. The timeline page is where things get really precise. This page allows the user to sequence media, motion or patches into a vertical or horizontal timeline. The timeline can be triggered manually, linked to a timecode input or locked to the system clock for automated playback in an installation where the user wants to trigger elements of the show at a certain time of the day. Once created, timelines can be triggered from the performance page where they can be triggered manually or locked to timecode trigger points. This concludes our brief AI version 7 overview. For more help and tutorials, please visit our website www.avalightsmedia.com.